Why do most people fail to achieve success? It's a question that's been pondered by philosophers, psychologists, and every person who's ever dreamed of achieving something more. But to answer it, we first need to understand what success truly means. In our society, success is often viewed as a destination, a specific point that we're all striving to reach. It's depicted as a lavish lifestyle, a high-powered job, or a bank account brimming with wealth. These images of success are flashed before our eyes in movies, on social media, and in the glossy pages of magazines. But is that what success really is? Certainly, for some, success might be measured in monetary terms. But for others, it could mean achieving a state of happiness, forging meaningful relationships, or making a positive impact on the world. Success, then, is a highly personal concept that varies from person to person. It's not a universal standard, but rather a unique blend of goals, aspirations, and values that reflects who we are as individuals. And yet, despite this understanding, many of us are guilty of subscribing to society's narrow definition of success. We often judge ourselves and others based on these external markers, and doing so, we set ourselves up for disappointment. After all, not everyone can be a millionaire, a movie star, or a CEO. But that doesn't mean they aren't successful. It simply means they might be successful in ways that aren't traditionally recognized or celebrated. They may be successful in their personal growth, their creativity, their resilience, or their ability to inspire others. And these forms of success are equally, if not more, valuable. So why do most people fail to achieve success? Perhaps it's because they're chasing a version of success that doesn't align with their true selves. They're striving for goals that aren't genuinely their own, but rather ones that society has imposed upon them. As we delve deeper into this topic, we'll explore psychological and emotional barriers that often stand in the way of success. But remember this, success is not a one-size-fits-all concept. It's a deeply personal journey that's unique to each and every one of us. As we continue on this journey of self-discovery together, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll become part of our community and stay updated on all our latest content. Plus, your support helps us keep bringing you insightful and thought-provoking topics like this one. So hit that subscribe button and let's embark on this personal journey to success together. The human mind plays a pivotal role in our journey to success. This intricate organ with its billions of neurons is the mastermind behind everything we do. But when it comes to success, it can often be the obstacle that hinders us from reaching our full potential. Let's delve into the labyrinth of the human psyche to understand why. Unraveling the threads of our mind, we often stumble upon two major psychological barriers to success, fear of failure and lack of self-belief. Fear of failure is a widespread phenomenon. It's a haunting specter that looms large in our minds, casting a long, dark shadow on our aspirations. We fear the unknown, the possibility of falling flat on our faces, the potential of our dreams crumbling into dust. This fear can be so overwhelming that it paralyzes us, preventing us from taking the very steps that could lead us to success. Now, let's turn to the second barrier, lack of self-belief. This is the little nagging voice in the back of our minds that whispers, you can't do it. It's a crippling belief that undermines our confidence, erodes our motivation and stifles our ambition. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy that keeps us stuck in a rut, unable to move forward. Both the fear of failure and lack of self-belief are deeply ingrained in our psyche. They are products of our experiences, our upbringing, our interactions with the world around us. They are, in essence, our own creations. And ironically, they are the very things that hold us back from creating the success we desire. But here's the catch. These barriers are not permanent. They are not insurmountable walls, but mere hurdles that can be overcome with the right mindset and approach. Our minds, after all, have the incredible ability to adapt, to change, to evolve. Our minds can be our biggest allies or our worst enemies. The choice, as always, lies with us. And it's this choice that ultimately determines our path to success or our descent into failure. Fear is an emotion that can paralyze us, especially when it comes to achieving success. Let's take a moment to think about that. What is it about fear that can make us freeze in our tracks, stopping us from reaching our goals? Fear, in its most basic form, is a survival mechanism. It's our body's way of telling us to avoid danger. But here's the catch. 
When it comes to success, this primal instinct can often be more of a hindrance than a help. Consider the fear of failure an all too common fear that many of us grapple with. We're afraid to fail, afraid to make mistakes, afraid to be seen as less than perfect. But here's a little secret. Failure is a part of success. It's through failure that we learn, grow, and ultimately succeed. Yet the fear of failure can hold us back. It can stop us from taking risks, from trying new things, from stepping out of our comfort zones. It can keep us from pursuing our dreams, from reaching our full potential. Think about a baby learning to walk. They don't succeed on the first try. They stumble, they fall, they get back up and try again and again and again until one day they're walking. They're not afraid to fail. They're not afraid to fall. They just keep trying until they succeed. As adults, we seem to lose this fearlessness. We become afraid to fail. We become afraid to try. We become afraid to take risks. And in doing so, we limit our potential. It's crucial to understand that fear, like any other emotion, is just that, an emotion. It's not a prophecy. It's not a guarantee of what will happen. It's just a feeling and feelings can be managed. So how do we manage this fear? One approach is to reframe it. Instead of seeing fear as a sign to stop, see it as a sign to proceed with caution. Use it as a guide, helping you navigate the path to success. Another approach is to embrace failure. Make peace with the fact that you will fail, and that's okay. It's part of the journey, it's part of the process, it's part of success. And finally, practice self-compassion. Be kind to yourself when you fail. Remember, no one is perfect. We all make mistakes, we all stumble, we all fall. What matters is that we get back up and try again. In the end, overcoming fear is not about being fearless. It's about learning to manage fear, to use it as a tool rather than a barrier. It's about embracing failure, about understanding that it's a part of success. Overcoming fear is the first step to unlocking your potential. Remember that and fear will no longer be a reason for not being successful. Lack of self-belief is another hurdle on the path to success. This statement rings true for many, as self-doubt can be a formidable foe in the journey towards achieving one's dreams. It's a hidden enemy, often lurking in the shadows of our minds, ready to strike when we're most vulnerable. Imagine a seed growing in a garden. This seed has the potential to grow into a magnificent tree, bearing fruits and providing shade. Now consider that the seed is your potential and the garden is the world around you. If the seed doubts its capability to grow, it will never push through the soil, reach for the sunlight and become the tree it's meant to be. This is what happens when we doubt ourselves. We hinder our growth, limit our potential and sabotage our own success. Self-doubt is like a parasite feeding on our insecurities, fears and past failures. It whispers in our ears, telling us we're not good enough, we're not smart enough, we're not capable enough. But here's the catch. These whispers are lies. They're not based on facts or reality, but on our interpretations and perceptions of ourselves and our abilities. Yes, it's true that we all have limitations. We're not perfect. We all have weaknesses. But that doesn't mean we're incapable of achieving success. The key is to recognize our strengths, build on them, and use them to overcome our weaknesses. This is where self-confidence and self-efficacy come into play. Self-confidence is all about having faith in our abilities. It's about knowing that we have the skills, knowledge, and competence to accomplish our goals. It's about standing tall, looking fear in the eye, and saying, I can do this. On the other hand, self-efficacy is about believing in our ability to perform specific tasks or overcome particular challenges. It's about knowing that even if we stumble and fall, we have the strength and resilience to get back up and keep going. Both self-confidence and self-efficacy are crucial for success. They help us push past our fears, overcome obstacles, and keep moving forward, no matter how tough the journey gets. They act as our shield against self-doubt, protecting us from its harmful effects. But how do we build self-confidence and self-efficacy? It starts with self-awareness. We need to recognize our strengths, acknowledge our weaknesses, and understand our capabilities. We need to challenge our negative self-talk, replace it with positive affirmations, and celebrate our small victories. We need to surround ourselves with positive influences, people who believe in us and encourage us to believe in ourselves. Remember, the journey towards success is not a straight line. There will be twists and turns, ups and downs, victories and failures. 
But every step, every stumble, every setback is an opportunity to learn, grow, and become stronger. So the next time you find yourself doubting your abilities, remember this, you are capable, you are strong, you are enough. Believe in yourself for you are more capable than you think. Our mindset shapes our reality. This statement might sound like a catchy slogan or a motivational quote, but it's so much more than that. It's a fundamental truth that underscores the power of the human mind and its role in determining our success. Let's delve into this idea a bit further. Our mindset is not just about how we think, but how we perceive the world around us, how we react to challenges, and how we approach our goals and dreams. It's a lens through which we view our lives, and this lens can either limit us or empower us. Consider the two types of mindsets often discussed in psychology, the fixed mindset and the growth mindset. Individuals with a fixed mindset believe that their abilities, intelligence, and talents are static. They tend to avoid challenges, give up easily, ignore useful feedback, and feel threatened by the success of others. On the other hand, those with a growth mindset believe that their abilities can be developed through dedication and hard work. They embrace challenges, persist in the face of setbacks, see effort as a path to mastery, learn from criticism, and find lessons and inspiration in the success of others. They understand that they're capable of growth and change. This growth mindset is the key to resilience, perseverance, and ultimately success. When we believe we can grow and improve, we're more likely to put in the effort and persist when things get tough. We're not deterred by failure, but see it as an opportunity to learn and grow. This mindset propels us forward, helping us to reach our goals and achieve our dreams. In fact, research has shown that people with a growth mindset are more likely to achieve success in various areas of life, from academics and career to relationships and personal development. So it's clear that our mindset, how we think and view the world, plays a crucial role in our success. And the good news is mindsets can be changed. We can choose to foster a growth mindset to believe in our ability to grow, to embrace challenges, and to persevere in the face of adversity. A growth mindset is the key to unlocking success. Let's summarize what we've discussed today. We've delved into the intricacies of success and failure, shedding light on the psychological barriers that often stand between us and our aspirations. We've explored the power of fear, the detriment of self-doubt, and the pivotal role of mindset in our journey towards success. Fear, as we've seen, is a powerful force that often holds us back. It's an internal alarm system that can protect us from danger, but can also prevent us from taking risks, from stepping out of our comfort zones and from reaching for our dreams. The fear of failure, of rejection, of the unknown, these can all be paralyzing. But remember, fear is a feeling, not a prophecy. It's a mental construct that can be deconstructed, managed, and even used as a catalyst for growth. We've also discussed the detrimental effects of self-doubt. Doubting oneself is a normal part of being human. We all have moments of uncertainty, moments of questioning our abilities, our worth, our potential. But when these moments become a permanent state of mind, they can hinder our progress and sabotage our success. The key is to recognize these doubts for what they are, mere thoughts. They do not define us. They do not dictate our abilities, and they should not dictate our actions. And then we have mindset. The power of our minds is truly extraordinary. Our thoughts can shape our reality, our beliefs can shape our actions, and our attitudes can shape our outcomes. A fixed mindset can limit our potential, while a growth mindset can unlock it. It's about seeing challenges as opportunities, failures as lessons, and success as a journey, not just a destination. So how can we overcome these psychological barriers? How can we turn our fears into fuel, our doubts into determination, and our mindset into our greatest ally? Firstly, acknowledge your fears. Face them head on, understand their roots, and challenge their validity. Use them as a stepping stone towards growth, not as a stumbling block towards failure. Secondly, counteract self-doubt with self-belief. Nurture a positive self-image, affirm your abilities, and celebrate your achievements no matter how small. Remember, every step forward, no matter how tiny, is progress. And lastly, cultivate a growth mindset. Embrace challenges, persist in the face of setbacks, see effort as a path to mastery, and learn from criticism. 
And most importantly, find lessons and inspiration in the success of others rather than feeling threatened by it. Success is not just about achieving your goals, it's about overcoming your fears, believing in yourself and growing from your experiences. So let's strive for success, not just in our achievements, but in our personal growth, in our resilience, and in our capacity to rise above our psychological barriers. Because at the end of the day, our greatest success is becoming the best version of ourselves.